So the cheapest iPhone that everybody should get is the iPhone SE 2. That's the one from 2020, which is three years old as of December 2023 going into 2024 and you could get it for $75 on prepaid in this example I'm using the straight talk version prices vary but this is a really good deal for $75 you're getting a very capable iPhone that does um, pretty much everything the newer phones do the more expensive phones do but at a super cheaper price and also you're get, since it's reconditioned you're getting a pretty much a 100% brand new battery with battery health that's the issue when you get phones used on eBay or Swappa or any other place, maybe besides Amazon, is that you're not going to get um, you're going to get low battery life in the 80 percent, 90 percent. You don't you never know what you're going to get. But with this one, you get reconditioned. You're typically getting 100 percent battery life, a brand new battery. And at, with these prices on these phones, for $75, you, you just can't beat that. Um, when you're buying used, if you get a, a, a really crappy battery, an old battery, then you're gonna replace that phone you know, soon. It's not gonna last you that long. So at this price, $75, you get it with a, you pair it with one of you know prepaid plans, which are typically lower, uh, $50 or lower, and you're getting a really good deal. This phone is just su is still super capable. It's the same exact phone as an iPhone SE 3. Um, the camera's the same, you got the same hardware, um, the only noticeable difference is, is going to be 5G, maybe, um, LTE is still pretty good in my opinion, and you're going to get an updated processor, uh, that's, you know, the only two differences really when you get the iPhone SE 3 versus this phone, but this one's still going to be good for two to three years, it's still going to get a couple of updates, this phone right here is typically uh, the same specs as an iPhone 11. So you're pretty much getting iPhone 11 power for $75 with a brand new battery and you're getting it on prepaid. Um, so typically the prices of the monthly plan are going to be lower. So yeah, if you're looking for a really cheap um, iPhone that want, you know, I'll do iMessage, FaceTime um, and still have several years of updates, you get a brand new battery, great camera. Um, if you like Touch ID, that's still there. You get AirDrop. You get um, Apple Pay, all that good stuff. You can use it with your AirPods, your Apple Watch. This is a good alternative. Instead of getting a cheap and uh, Android phone, this is the way to go. I think this is a really good deal because the iPhone SE 2 is still a very capable device, in my opinion. And you can still use iMovie. As long as you're not into um, he you know heavy content creation, um, you're going to be good to go on this app, on this phone, using any app that you download on it. So yeah, pick one up. Prices vary, but for $75, iPhone SE 2, that's a go.